Lil no. Lil never said anything. I planned it. I was waiting for... We planned to meet at... Midnight. Goldock Road, 11.15. But at Regent Street, I left 20 minutes in case... I, I was, was late. late. Lil had made sure I was ready. I'd left Con instructions for afterwards. She even packed my clutch for me. With the club tickets in an envelope. But I was late. Con never checks the time, so I knew she'd be late. I didn't check the time. I just assumed she'd... I hadn't texted her to leave. I was banking on her checking for the tickets or thinking I'd gone, gone on, on ahead. ahead. had my best dress on. Gotta make an effort. So yeah, I was late, okay? And of course the 94 was late. I threw my oyster off the bus as the doors closed behind me. I wouldn't need it anymore. I couldn't believe my luck. I left my necklace on the seat. I forgot my oyster. But there was one on the floor by the bus stop. I sat at the back of the bus on the top deck. It's a good spot. To see the lights, the decorations. To observe everything. I like the beauty of it all, especially at night. Cold. I was freezing. I wasn't really. I wasn't worried. I was calm. I had the tickets, so I knew she'd have to wait for me outside the club. The air was freezing, but I didn't feel it. When I got to Regent Street, I thought she might be waiting for me there. But she wasn't, so I... I left my phone at home. I assumed she was at the club. As I got close to Embankment, I did notice the blue lights, but I didn't want to be distracted. This was too important. I had to get it all just right. Didn't think anything of it. It was New Year's Eve. There's always some shit happening. I waited by the entrance to the club. 12 minutes to the bridge. By the time I reached it, I still had five minutes to spare. A couple of people were gossiping about a girl trying to jump off. I climbed up onto the railings of Millennium Bridge. I wasn't surprised. It's a hard time. I began kicking my shoes and socks off, one by one, letting them fall, setting them free. I really thought Lo would be there waiting for me. I stripped off out of my clothes. It was liberating. The air on my skin. I could actually feel it now. I wouldn't have to be a part of this new normal. I checked my watch. Had no messages on my phone. It was almost midnight. midnight. Something just didn't feel right. I knew we should have just met at her house. Didn't have to go in. I thought, I won't have to pretend anymore. I won't have to scrape by anymore. Maybe she'd given up on me and somehow got inside, so I decided I'd go in as well. And that was when I found it. Con had the no. note. It was in the envelope, tucked into the tickets. She must have assumed I'd check. I'd stop her. I was going to live again for at least one moment. Really live. I just remember dropping. 
the wind take my weight. I fell. I flew.